Okay. All right, Shalom. Shalom. As always, we want to give all honor, glory, uh, praises due to Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kapodash. Right. Once again, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well. Peace and salutation to the icon of the Christian's word right. and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth, waking up the hope for lit. All right. This is uh, uh, GMS Detroit by Branch. All right. And we're just doing a, uh, another improper you know, lesson. Okay. Dealing with, um, you know, trusting in our power, man. Trusting in Yahweh by Shun that was shot. Because at the end of the day, what else are we, what else are we going to do? All right. We, we, we don't have no. You know, no, nothing, shit. We can't lean on our family members. We can't lean on the government. Okay? We have to trust in our power, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And nothing else, okay? When, when when shit hit the fan, okay, who you gonna call on? You know, who who, who, who are you praying to? Okay? Uh, uh, precept. You know what I'm saying? Precept. Who, who, who are you worshiping? Mm -hmm. All right? If, hey, if you're not worshiping Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and spirit and the truth, the Heavenly Father, he don't know you. And the Son, right. he don't know you. He's not concerned with you. Mm -hmm. Right, we coming into a time that we're gonna need divine intervention. Mm -hmm. We're gonna need help, okay, from from a whole nother dimension, bro. You know what I'm saying? We can't we we can't save ourselves, as the scriptures say. You know what I'm saying? So our our it's it's it's, it's pertinent that we have faith, okay? We have to have I mean like supernatural faith because it's about to be some supernatural events that's going on in the earth that. Hey it's, it's, hey, it's how they say, seeing this, believing, hey, it's for a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. We're going to see, like, we wouldn't believe if we hadn't read about it, bro. Like, it's, it's about to really get real out here. So we have to trust in our powers. So, man, mm -hmm. you know, whoever got it. I got a quick, quick one. one. I got it. Uh, this is Psalms 121. This is my favorite Psalms. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I, uh, Psalms 121 and 1. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. Mm -hmm. And my help coming from Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, which made the heaven and earth. All right. Hey, that's the thing with Jake. Jake, he, he's been so defeated in this society that he he doesn't have no hope in anything. All he knows is to be a nigga. Okay. You even see Jake when he's walking around in the street, he, you know, looking down at the earth. He just you just see it's it's no it's no no hope in Jake's eyes, right? He figured he just gonna be here in America, be a nigga in America. You know, if he's lucky enough to you know, working nine to five, you know, work work all of his years and then retire at 60 years old. Hey, that's not life. That's not living. You that's know right. what I'm saying? We, hey, we going to truly live in the kingdom. That's right. right? That's the Lord right. Is, is ready, all right, to give us our heart's desire. All we have to do is, is have right. faith and endure. That's, that's right. all that's required of us, okay? But, you know, for Jake, you know, it's, it's like, hey, two-thirds of our people, that you can see that they, they destroy it, bro. So it's a beautiful thing to, to hear this word. And not only hear it, but to believe it. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And, hey, that's why no matter what comes to go, you, you know, you you have that, you have that, you know, this that that feeling that, hey, at the end of all of this, everything is going to be okay. We just got to let things trust right. You know, let, let the Lord work. And do we do? Hey, hey Lord, what if we be of that number? Okay, hey, the Lord is going to, again, give us our heart's desire. Even if we fall doing this thing of ours, Hey, we know Yahweh Hashem Yahshua can bring us back mm -hmm. from the grave, you know, uh, 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 quickly. Mm -hmm. You know, it's nothing for him uh, uh, um, to bring us back. Mm -hmm. He will not suffer my uh, thou feet to uh, be moved, and he that keepeth thee will not slumber. Mm -hmm. we, uh, and, and since uh, uh, the seventh day, uh, the Most High Yahweh haven't slept yet. Mm -hmm. You know, he's been up since then. You know, since he created the world and summered on the seventh day, hey, he haven't been asleep since then. And Yahweh is thy keeper. Which the most high doesn't sleep. He just needs kind. rest. Yes. Yeah, yeah, rest. Kind. Kind. He haven't rested yet. And Yahweh by Shem Shai is thy keeper. Yahweh by Shem Shai is thy shade upon thy right hand. And the sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. Yahweh shall preserve thee from all evil, he shall preserve thy soul. And that's what we're hoping that Yahweh Hashem Yahshai preserve us. Hey, hey, when the great and dreadful day come, and hey, he preserve our soul that we won't be we won't be destroyed. You know. Uh, uh brother got the next video? Yeah, I got, I got it. Yeah, uh book of Matthew chapter 10, verse 22, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that enduring to the end shall be saved. And you know, like 
yeah, you you gotta endure to this to the end because everybody you know in in, in, in this lifetime gonna come against you. Uh, can I say something real quick? Kind of. Hey, wacky tacky Christians think they say because they they say they believe, but in Jesus, but the scriptures say that he that endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Uh -huh. So nobody saves until the end come. Right, it's a process. Right, uh -huh. you don't just wake up one day, choose the Lord, and say I'm saved and on that very same day. Like, no, you have to be tried. We have to be proven through the Spirit to see hey, if if we are those just men. Uh, are we worthy, okay, of, of being okay judges in the king? Say, you know what I'm saying? You, you gotta go through something. Hey, we gotta we gotta bear a cross like Yahweh Shai, bear this cross. You know what I'm saying? And this this ain't you know, this ain't no come all, you know, come come as you are and all that. No, this ain't got nothing to do with Christianity. Scriptures deal with this, this is strict our heritage, bro. Like this is this is us. You know what I'm saying? We come from this, right? The men that's written in these scriptures are our people. Right, this, right, is, this right. is our lineage. Right, we have a a, a, a great uh, uh, lineage. lineage, you know, to appreciate a heritage. Right. Yeah, heritage, mm -hmm. heritage even yeah, more so. It. You know what I'm saying? So you know, hey, you know that that we glory in it, but you appreciate it, man. When when you when you understand the truth, like damn, the white man told me I wasn't shit all my life, come. but come to find out, he the one that ain't shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he the one steal everybody identity. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I got a piece of, uh, this is uh, Proverbs chapter 3 verse 1 yep. My son, forget not my law But let thine heart Keep my commandments For length of days And, and long life and peace Shall they add to thee It says let not mercy and truth forsake thee Bind them about thy neck Write them upon the table of thy heart So we have to keep them statue commandments to the best of our ability as it says in um, you know the book of judges right rehearsing the righteous acts yeah. in it our says, minds the exact in heart in our heart it says so shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of the most high and man trust in the lord with all thy heart and lean not unto thy own understanding so we have to trust in the lord you see the lord told us what go on the highways and byways uh, bid as many as you can find to the marriage. Yep, you see? Yep. So that's what we do. Right? He said, keep my commandments. Right? Uh, if you love me, keep my commandments. So we keep the commandments to the best of our ability. We don't eat pork. We don't commit adultery. We do all these things to the best of our ability. Yeah, right. we might, we can't keep it to the, to, you know, the perfect T of the Dot in the eyes and every letter of the road. Exactly. Okay. And that's but guess what? That's, what the, that's right. That's where the faith in Yahweh, that's where the faith of our shepherd comes in, right? Because he's going to protect us from those different things where we where we, where we lack in. That's God. right. Well, well he's going to go up and uh, put intercessions between the Most High and us. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, uh, for every sin that we did. Yeah. You know, hey, he's the media. Yeah, so, Yahweh yeah. took on the sins of all of Israel. Man. Huh? Yeah. Right. And like I said, when he got put on that cross, you gotta understand that was a very, very grievous death, man. Like you don't, people don't really understand the multitude of that. And like I said, also the scriptures, man, it tells you, man, you know, this race isn't for the slip. Like I said, it's not for you to just know all this. It's a marathon. It's a marathon. You got a marathon. You just gotta push. You can take as long as you want, as long as you make it to the end with the faith of Yahweh Shimon Shai. You gotta endure it to the end. You gotta finish. You gotta finish it. Kind of finish, but yeah, more important, yeah, pace yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you have, you have, you know, some brothers come in, he want to get all meat doctrine, mm -hmm. all meat Choke. scriptures, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, he cold at that, but, but you know, certain certain things as, as far as, you know, uh, just being brotherly, you know what I'm saying? Like, he black and don't understand. Uh -huh. like, you, okay, you got all the breakdowns, yeah, yeah. that's fine. But it's more to it than that, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You don't got the foundation. You don't yeah. have that's exactly. like a, a bodybuilder. Yeah. He yep. get from the torso up. He big, <laughs> ripped up. Yeah. But legs. He, he mislaid me. Yeah. 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 You, yeah. yeah. you can get toppled over. Mm -hmm. No cap. That's right. right. God. Yeah. 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 He's built for it. Yeah. He's right. trying. I got a little more. <laughs>
Proverbs uh, 3 and 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not, not unto thy own understanding. understanding. <laughs> in all thy ways acknowledge him mm. and he shall direct thy paths. Mm. So we have to trust in the Lord, man. That's he shall right. direct our paths. Ooh. Everything that we go through in our lives, man, we ain't got no control over that. That's right. Whatever you're going through, whether it's pain, whether it's pleasure, all that is of the Lord. The scriptures say, um, you know, the Lord heals in, 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 in uh, wounds. Yes, right. right. He kill and make alive. So it doesn't matter what you're going through. If you're going through pain or adversity mm. or any, you know, any affliction, pray to the Lord, man. Hey. Yo, you how about you, Shai? Can you can you help me out? You know, what I'm saying I'm going through hell right now. I'm catching, you know, what I'm saying this this pain is is, is too grievous for me, hey. right? And 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 as a testimony, Salaki, I don't mean to ramble, mm -hmm. but as a testimony, um, you know, I had something similar very recently, right? I uh, my wisdom tooth is coming in, and it's mm. it's giving me hell, bro, mm. right? And uh, at night I couldn't sleep, and I was trying my best to just ignore the pain, you know, lay there in the bed. But as soon as I prayed to the Lord, not even five minutes later, bro, the pain started to cease. Uh, yeah, you see? Sirach 38. Exactly. Yeah. Pray to the Heavenly Father, y'all. Every time I get sick, I go read Sirach 38, and I pray to the Lord in thy sickness. Yeah, it's, another, exactly. it's another one. I forgot. I know it's in the book of Psalms when you got to pray for the oh, army. Oh, the waters? waters. Uh -huh. I'll read it for you. Come on. Sirach 38 and 1. Honor a physician with the honor due unto him, for the uses which ye may have of him. For of the Most High cometh healing, and he shall receive honor of the king. So notice it says, For of the Most High cometh healing. Mm. Is it no matter how many herbs and supplements and vitamins you take? If your Hawabah Shimei Oshai doesn't want you to be healed, you won't be healed. Now, go ahead and jump down to seven or eight. Come on, I got you. It says, uh, verse seven. Uh, it says, With such doth he heal men. Well, let me say. Or it might keep, keep going. Mm -hmm. okay. The skills of the, of the physician shall lift up his head, and in the sight of great men he shall be in admiration. How about Shimei Oshai created medicines out of the earth? Yeah. That's what you wanted? Keep going, going down, down to eight. eight. And, he, and he that is wise will not abhor them. I say, you know, Jake ain't wise, especially Eve. If you would tell Eve, hey, take these organic, you know, vitamins or whatnot, mm -hmm. you know, take drink this for teas. Your, yeah, drink these uh -huh. teas for your headaches or your cramps. No, drink this water. <laughs> oh, 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 water! I don't know, water to the <laughs> end. Verse <laughs> 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 like nine was the point. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll keep reading. Okay. But the point being that, you know, Jake ain't too smart. That's why they abhor, which abhor means to avoid. <laughs> they avoid medicines out of the earth. They'd rather trust in Esau and take yeah. his yeah. over-the-counter medicine. Prescription. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It says, it says, was not the water made sweet with mm. wood and the virtue thereof, that, that the virtue thereof might be known. And what's that talking about? Going back to the book of Exodus, Yahweh Shem Yahushai commanded us to cut down a tree mm. to put it into the water to decontaminate. That's right. Uh, it says, uh, I was going to say, Shai, can you give me a uh, problem? You, you in the book of Proverbs. I am in the right? book of Proverbs. Yeah. Uh, can you go down to three? Meaning uh, 13? Can I? Uh, can I make one quick point? Too? Yeah, I so. As far as that, um, when that tree was was uh, put in that river to make it sweet, mm -hmm. right? You got to think about it. Are trees sweet? You know what I'm saying? When you really look into the, the different things that the Heavenly Father did to us, these are real miracles, man. Okay, okay. You see what I'm saying? There is no sweetness in a tree. When you look at the bark of a tree, it's bitter. Hey, the what? most high is balanced because exactly. everything he makes the opposite. He makes a he makes the opposite yeah. some that that that, that like yeah. like yeah. something that was uh uh, uh, uh poisonous. Mm -hmm. Hey, he put the bark in it and made it sweet. It was exactly. the opposite to it. Yeah. Hey, the most high is even handed. Mm -hmm. Hey, he give you the bitter and the sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The yeah. Catch, shall a man receive good of the most high, not evil? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the heavenly father is about balance. Constant. Hey, so like this truth. Or just go straight to that. Hey, like this truth, it's also sweet and bitter unto our ears. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sirach 38 9. It says, uh, My son, in thy sickness be not negligent, but pray unto Yahweh by Shimei Oshai, and he will make thee whole. And that's what the brother Yashar did. He, he said he had a toothache. Mm -hmm. He prayed to the Lord Yahweh by Shimei Oshai, and the Lord made him whole. Y'all brothers got it. Yeah. And I was in Salaki. When I say I was doing everything in my power, bro, to not, like, just just to ignore the pain. But nothing worked. I was trying to think about something else. I'm going to lay in the bed, not on that side. And then so I'm like, you know what? I got to pray to the Lord. I pray to the Lord. Yeah, how about you? I'm trying to pray to the Lord. I need to, like, 
really sedate this pain. Don't take it away. Just allow me to endure it. And when I say it was like five minutes, man, five minutes, and it would it just started to slowly cease, dissipate, dissipate to the point to where I'm like, oh, thank you, and I and I went to sleep instantly, man. Kind. That that you gotta trust in the Lord. That's right. With all your might. Precept. Can you get that 13 for me real quick, Baba Kashan? Yeah, this is Proverbs uh, 3 and 13. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom in the man that gives understanding. Yeah, so when you come to this truth, man, now you got the answers. You know what to do. You know there's an afterlife. You know that there's a kingdom. You know there's a savior for us. And then, like I said, there's, and like I said, for the brothers, like I said, that has affirmatives. Now we can pray. You got medicines. Like I said, you have a shot, man. To heal your sickness from the paraphrasing, because even learned men came to Yahweh Shai. You know, you just say, you know, fast and pray. For an example, like I said, when you have wisdom, wisdom is the truth. So you will have that answer. It's like I said, we got false, we have um, knowledge and we have false knowledge. Wisdom, when you have, understanding. But like I said, there's false knowledge out there. When you have that wisdom to go with it, you got the truth, you got the real understanding. And like I said, we know we got the truth in these scriptures, man. So like I said, that was just my little point, my little uh, one on that. Any other brothers that want to land back or you know bring up a precept? Yeah, I don't want a precept, but it's Go ahead. dealing with uh. Yeah. Oh, what's that? I thought you had some green way. If not, then yeah, you no, you go ahead. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, this is uh Psalms thirty-seven, and um, I'm starting verse three. It says, "Trust in Yahweh and do good, so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily shalt thou mm. be fed." You know, hey, that's Lord one that you if we be on that number. Okay, that we're gonna experience that. Okay, we we're gonna experience abundance. You know, if we're gonna experience our heart's desire, okay, if we trust in Yahweh by Shun Yahweh Shai. Brother, that was a beautiful testimony. You know, that because when you pray, right, that, that that's showing that it's a trust factor alone. Okay, we're praying into a power, okay, that we okay, we can't touch, you know. You see what I'm saying? We can mm -hmm. talk and conversate, touch brothers right here and now, but Okay, when you pray, okay, hey, as mm. the scriptures say, uh, was the evidence of things not seen, God, you know, God, so yeah. hey, that, that's faith, bro, faith, yeah. you know, he which is, is a him. real thing, so that's why we, we put our, heart, our mind, body, and soul, and say, hey, we, hey, we, Lord, what do we know that the Lord got us, man, mm. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to speak to my father, I'm going to pray unto him, you yeah. know, I, humbly, I'm going to pray unto him, and I know, you know, Lord, what he, he'll, he'll, he'll make a way. You know, he'll subside pain. He'll 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 make he'll make it to where you can um, endure. 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 You know, so yeah, that's mm -hmm. the point. You know, he'll he'll make it that you can like that yeah. to mm -hmm. yeah, I was shot pray. He said, I don't pray that you take them out of the world, but mm -hmm. and let let them endure being in the world. Yep. Roughly paraphrasing. Yep. You see? So we're still in this world, we still catch hell, we still go through all the things that we go through in the flesh. But the Heavenly Father gives us the strength to endure it, man. Ah. It's a little more. Uh, verse 4 it says, Delight thyself also in Yahweh, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Mm -hmm. Commit thy way unto Yahweh. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Right? Hey, as the scriptures say, the, the heavenly father is not a man that he should lie, you know? So, it, hey, it said commit, you know, because, yeah, it, 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 it takes your whole heart, mind, body, and soul, okay, to believe in a presence that you can't see or touch. Yeah. But yet, you know, you know he's right here. You know he can, you can feel through the spirit, you can feel that presence. Like, okay, I'm not crazy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it, uh, the, these these circumstances that happen around me, they're, they're not... Uh, uh, you know, it's not it's not happening for nothing. You can see that the Lord is at work. It's the point. You can see the Lord is, is moving, man. You know what I'm saying? The, just in the in, in concept of our daily bread. You know, sometimes you don't know where you're going to pull some money from, bro. Calm, bro. Man. Like, damn, like, oh, man. Huh? You know, you can be worrying, like, I'm stressing, like, mm -hmm. damn, like, yeah. damn, who can I add? Like, who can I turn to? But somehow, some way, you check your bank account one day, and it's just some extra funds in there, like, like, damn, I don't even recall. Like, I don't like, know how where that happened. That, <laughs> from, but, it, but it'd be so uh, timely, bro. It'd be, it'd be timely. But like, damn, like, the Lord, you know what? I need you just right now at this moment. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, hey, that's our Heavenly Father. He's a provider to, to his, his people. You know, that, uh, that commit to him, right? That believe in him. You understand? Know you got to be fully committed. Mm -hmm. 
You know, you just can't be uh, uh, lukewarm. Lukewarm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. In this. Yeah. Oh, I got one more question. I got one. Uh, um, this is Isaiah. No, this is Jeremiah 33. And okay, Jeremiah 33 and 6. Behold, I will bring it health and cure, and I will cure them, and and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. And I will cause the captivity of Judah and the captivity of Israel to return, and will build them at the first. Hey, he's going to bring us back as we was when he first brought us out of the land of Israel. Right. When, when everybody feared us because of Yahweh Shemyasha. And he's going to give us a, 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 a health. Hey, right now, I got a weak ass body. Hey, 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 hey everything is fucked, fucked with me right now. Cut. And when you uh, think uh, about it too, so like real quick, um, there was a time where Solomon was in power, right? We had 40 years of peace. Mm -hmm. Right, that's also uh, a significant in that time because we didn't have enemies coming up against us. We had gold, riches. We had the the, the everything was it, it was peace. Okay. We had uh, the best of everything mm -hmm. when we was in that land. They called that land the land of milk and honey. Mm -hmm. And I will cleanse them from all their iniquity whereby they have sinned against me, and I will pardon all their iniquity whereby. They have sinned, whereby they have transgressed against me. And it shall be to me a name of joy, a praise, and a honor before all nations of the earth, mm. which shall hear all the good that I do unto them, and they shall fear and tremble for all the goodness and all the prosperity I procured to I procured. I procure unto it. And, and these days are coming real soon. Hey, that's the reason why these nations don't want us to come back to our state hey, hey, the way we used to be. Because, hey, they know once we come up, hey, hey, they going to stay down. Mm. Hey, hey, it's going to be, uh, uh, we going to take the kingdom. It's going to be forever. It's the last one, bro. Peace out. The last one. Yeah, this is, man. Yeah, this is be man after this. Uh, I got one more, though. Oh, okay. Different dealing with the topic. Okay. Uh, chapter 4 and verses uh, 14 of St. John. Yeah, you got scripture? But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a wall of water, a well of water, uh, sprinkling up into everlasting life. Huh? Okay, and, and that that's what we're drinking off the spirit of uh Yahweh Shimei and we'll never thirst. Huh? It's just this word, and, and that water is the wisdom, not to understand. Mm -hmm. Just truth. Right. Yahweh Shai, uh, John six and sixty three. It says the uh, spirit, spirit quickeneth the flesh, the flesh, the flesh and nothing. And nothing. Huh? Huh? The words that I speak unto you, they yeah. are spirit and they, they are, are life. Truth. Yeah, life. Mm -hmm. So, um, based, uh, going back to the uh, the topic of this video, I wanted to grab John 10 and 1. This is, it says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that entereth not by the door, enter, in, into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. God. It says, But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. Right, and the essence of this uh, this video was to trust in Yahweh Shai. Right? Because he is our shepherd. Yeah, he's the door. He's our shepherd. He is uh, uh, everything. The That's Lord right. over all of us. Right? He died. He sacrificed himself. You know, he, he died for our sins. Verse three says, "To him that poured open it, and the sheep heareth his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name and leadeth them out." So a shepherd, you know, when when you look into what a shepherd is, right? He uh he knows the sheep, right? He keeps David sheep. keeps them. Mm -hmm. David he was a keeper of the sheep. Right? Yeah. He he protected the sheep from lions, bears. He even said he wrestled lions and bears. Why was he li wrestling them to protect the sheep? That's right. You see, yeah. so the Yahweh shot. He come in that same that same uh, stance. A couple more pieces, uh, verses. And that's how you know King David was uh, was also Peter. Mm. Because yeah. David was over his sheep. Mm -hmm. So was Peter. He was over the sheep, which yeah. is the church. The elect. Yeah. 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 Yahweh told him to feed his sheep. That's right. yeah. Three times he said it. 
Verse 4 says, And when he put forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And uh, when you go into Revelation, the 14th chapter, it says, uh, uh, These are they which, which uh, follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. Uh -huh. You know? So that, sh that sheep the is elect. the same sheep. That's the elect. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It says, And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. So there's a lot of false doctrines out there. There's Highlands. a lot of huh? Highlands. Highlands. You know? So the, the the point of this video was to trust in that shepherd, man. The shepherd is going to protect the flock. He's going to make sure uh, certain dangers. But when you fear and when you have that 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 doubt, you're not going to trust in your shepherd. You're going to run off and you're going to die, man. You know, because the shepherd, because, you know, what I was meditating on is when, when the shepherd has a flock of sheep, it could be a hundred. Uh, there's a parable. Uh, 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 yeah, if one, 99. 99 one, that's what I was meditating on, bro. Brother, right. So that one sheep, you might fear, you might doubt. Oh, this one, get one out of here. Next thing you know, you ran from the flock and, and you get mauled, man. Why? Because you didn't trust in your shepherd. Mm -hmm. yeah. Trust in the shepherd. Trust in your house, watch him, your house, and he's going to deliver you, man. But, you're, hey, not gonna hey. get, you're, gonna, you're not going to get ripped up by the wolf, by the thief. That's right. By Cut. this Edomite, mm -hmm. man. Cut. Because why? You said you called on the name of the Lord. That's right. You call on the name of the Lord, you will be saved. God. If, you're, so, hey, if you're, you're, you're Yahweh Shai's elect, that's right, hey, he'll come get that one sheep. That's right. You know, he, he, he will come he get you. You know? Yeah, that's it. All right, quick one. This is uh, Micah 6 and 9, because the brother was bringing up the point concerning the shepherd. Now, if you ever see a shepherd on his farm, he always has the uh, what they call the shepherd's hook. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's what they call shepherd it. Right? Shepherd's staff. Shepherd's hook, shepherd's staff, staff whatever. Shepherd's staff. It. And he not only does he use that to guide the sheep, because like if it's going astray, they has little, the little hook part. The reason it has the hook is so that you can it can hook around the sheep's neck so you can rear it back on the proper course. That's yeah. right, yeah. It's a hook. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a hook. And he can also use it to defend himself. Like if a wolf or an enemy comes in, he can use the staff. To defend himself. Yeah. And, and he also used that staff as a way of uh, 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 as uh, 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 um, uh, uh, um, to uh, um, inflict punishment onto you when you go off. Yeah, yeah, that too. Ka. And what is, what is that? What is that staff? That shepherd's hook. This word. That's what guides us if we're going off course. That's what guides us if we slip up. That's right. This is a uh, Micah six and nine. Yahweh Shem Yahushua's voice cried unto the city, which is whom the prophets, and the man of wisdom shall see thy name. Hear ye the rod, and who hath appointed it? So uh -huh. hear ye the rod. What is the rod? This word. So we're supposed to listen to the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And that's why it says, uh, like the brother quoted in Revelation 14, these are they which follow the Lamb, whithersoever you go. How do you follow the Lamb? By following his word. What do Yahweh Shai say? Lo, I come within the volume of the book that is written of me. Okay. Uh -huh. One more precept, bro. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, uh, roughly paraphrasing, hey, uh, in Psalms uh, 123, uh, Psalms 23, hey, the rod and I cat staff, Ooh, they comfort me. Uh, this is Psalms That's 23 it. and 4. It says, God. can you read verse 1 down, down? Okay, I got you. Uh, 23 and 1. The Lord is my shepherd. Yeah. God. Yes, God. The Lord is my shepherd. God. I shall not want. Right? He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. That's what the brother was going to with the hook. Right? When you go off, he can... Bring you back to that right that right way. That's right. Uh, he restoreth my soul. He leadeth me to in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Uh, and that's the point, bro. That hey, that's it. Uh, that's it, man. Nobody else got anything? Uh yeah. I I had one real quick. Come on with it, brother. Uh, this is a book of Ecclesiastes, also known as the book of Sirach, chapter 5, in verse 1. Set not thy heart, meaning your mind, upon thy goods, and say not, I have enough for my life. Mm -hmm. Verse 2, follow not thy own mind, and thy own and slack it in thy strength, to walk in the ways of thy heart. Mm -hmm. Alright, going back to Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5, be yeah. not upon thy own understanding. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that was it. For me, you brothers got it. That's right, because yeah, you mentioned, you know, uh, 
you know, his sheep is going to hear, hear the voice, right? You no, know, even though we're all Israelites, okay? But, hey, a lot of our people, they're, they're not they're not counted as sheep, you know, because uh, they don't hear the voice. Okay, if you have a shot. Real quick, this is um Isaiah 30 and verse 20. It says, and though Yahweh give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, it shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. Right, so even though we in captivity, even though we catch a hell, the Heavenly Father is still going to send those teachers out to teach his men. Huh? Uh, and the, the chief teachers are the, the elder apostles of GMS. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah, the scriptures say, oh, I, I basically say, I was seeing you. That's right. That's right. You know, it says, um, uh, let's see, 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 and thy ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, This is the way walk ye in it. Can I make a point on that? Uh, Apostle Ariyama, I've always made this out. The reason why it says, uh, Could you read that part again? This, uh, the verse, the verse you just read? Okay. And thy ears? Yeah, yeah, that part. And thy ears shall hear a word behind thee. Right. Behind thee. Why? Because the way that you were going was the wrong direction. Uh, so you hear that word being taught unto to you, and now you got to turn around and go in the right direction. Right. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's what Pastor Yahweh always brings on. It ties in with the lesson beautiful. Because Yahweh Shai is leading us back on the proper path to Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. To the Heavenly Father through him. He's got no sheep. Okay. You know? The scriptures say we went astray. Yeah, it says, you know I'm saying, this is the way walk ye in it when ye turn to the right hand and when ye turn to the left, you know, because, yeah, we're, yeah, brothers, wherever you heard this word, what is, you know, social media, YouTube, you know, walking about or whatever, it's like the way that this word is being brought out in this fashion. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. your spirit, you know, it, like mesh, like, okay, no, that's the truth. When I've been caught up in religion all my life, and I, I you know, I was starving. I was, you know, I was, I wasn't being fed. Okay, but we heard this word in the fashion that it's being brought out now. I say, hey, now that's the truth. And you, and you, you know, and shit, you, you hop right to it, bro. And you know, you get all into like, damn, bro, I have not heard the Bible be. And the thing is, too, it's like people, like the brother said, you never heard this before because motherfuckers in the church, they bring out one precept and they start yeah. clapping and dancing. Yeah. And, and, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hallelujah, this and guys and all. But they never heard these breakdowns, man. Mm -hmm. And it started with, first, it started with. Uh, elder priest Abu Bivens, and then it started with the elders and apostles of Great Mill, so on down. And, 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 and now that, that the word is coming out and it's being expounded upon, these these Christians is through, man. They're trying to break down revelation. Oh, the serpent got oh, man. Oh, no. oh, I got, I got a I got a priest. What? Oh, <laughs> You through, Christians. Yeah, this is the truth, man. And, and the fact that Yahweh Shem Yahweh is raising up his men in these last days, you scared, man. Right. You see what I'm saying? You was able to uh, live and, and, and get fatness for so long, but now it's, it's over. Yeah, bro. I got a piece of, uh, um, this is Isaiah 56 and 10. Right. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. Mm. They cannot bark, sleep and laying down, loving to slumber. Mm -hmm. Yea, they are greedy dogs, which can never have enough. And, and this happened in, in, even in Hebrew Israelite ranks. Hey, we see it among us right now. We see it through, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, um, Sakari, uh, 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 see, uh, 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 it's about the bag. Hey, they got Patreons. Mm -hmm. yeah. it, it, it ain't about teaching and the truth. It's videos. about money. Uh, 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 we see it through IUIC. We see it through uh, IU, uh, 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 and, 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 and we also see it through uh, uh, these so-called pastors on, on the streets. The, uh, uh, these pastors that be in the churches. TV hey, hey, TV snakes, yeah. uh, Cliff O Dollar, yeah. hey, oh, hey, you dumb dogs, and hey, you ain't warning the people what's about to happen. <laughs> because if you warn them, hey, you wouldn't have no uh, no no so-called white people up in your matrix, hey, giving that money. 
It's about that bag. It's about that money. That's what it's about. Uh 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 uh. A little bit more. Uh uh. Jay, they can never have enough. Yeah, that's a lot. Uh, damn. I think you're right. They can have yeah, enough. They, yeah. they are shepherds that cannot understand. And they all look their own way. Everyone for his game from his quarter. It's about their prosperity. Hey, they say that you do all these things that you could be like me, but long as you keep giving me that money. And it's about <laughs> their prosperity and, and you giving up that money. It's about you giving up that purse to them. Uh, uh, come ye and say, I will fetch wine, and we will fill ourselves with strong drink. And strong drink is philosophies. Uh, and tomorrow we shall be as this day and much more abundant. And, and, and it's about them getting money. Hey, a quick old dollar, you worth what? A multi million, millions of dollars. Uh, 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 TJ Stakes, he worth like over $20 million. And, and it's about that money. Hey, they live in leftist lifestyles. Hey, they getting in jets. Hey, they superstar preachers. But hey, our, hey, our, our faith is in Yahweh Bashim Shai. We don't give a fuck what T Day Snake say. You know, we don't give a fuck about none of it. What they got to say. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It's like it. And Yahweh Bashim Shai is going to destroy all of them. Yeah. Go ahead, the Wild Two two quick ones. Because you mentioned going straight. This is Psalm 119 and 67. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now have I kept thy word. Verse 176. God. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek thy servant, for I do not forget thy commandments. And what did the Lord say? I come not but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. God. So that's what we're doing. We're preaching this word. We're, we're speaking the words of Yahweh Hashem unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So what? They can come back into the fold and the elect can repent so we can get the fuck up out of here. That's right. right. That's it. Hey, hey, hopefully we can get the elect sealed up and we be out of here quick. That's right. You know? So, 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 hey, man. Hey, Lord willing, this was edifying with that. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Kakadash. All right, once again, double honors to the apostles and elders, right. a great millstone that rule well. Peace and salutation to the icon that's pushing this word of truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Um, with that one, say, um, Kwan Makiyam. Kwan Makiyam. Um, um, Ababa Ba. Ababa Ba. Shalom. Shalom.